Today we are going to Shwangao where we will look forward to ride in Tigelberg cable car which is also known as Tigelberg Bahn. It is located in Shwangao which is 2 hours from Augsburg Bavaria. I took RB77 from Augsburg Bahnhof to Fusin Bahnhof. It is a very pleasing and scenic train journey. I must say you cannot afford to take a nap while traveling. Here is the first view of Fusin from the Bahnhof. Fusin is adorable with its pastel colored townhouses, great bathing lakes, the Algao mountains and the world famous royal castles awaits in the area. On the Fusen Bahnhof, you can also collect the souvenir coins from the machine which cost 2 euro. The souvenir coin is engraved with the historical site in Schwangau. I also visited Neuschwanstein Castle in Schwangau which you can see on my souvenir coin. The video on Neuschwanstein Castle is coming soon, so stay tuned. The foundation stone of the new castle was laid on 5 September 1869. The gateway building was constructed first and Ludwig II lived here for a number of years. The coin has a weight of 8.5 grams and a diameter of 25.75 mm. The ring is made of copper nickel and the center is made of nickel brass. So let's proceed towards the Tigelberg Bahn and I am so excited for the elevation of 6171 feet. Currently, I am in bus number 73, which I took from Fusen Bahnhof to the Tigelberg Bahn. The travel time between Fusen and Tigelberg Bahn is about 13 minutes over a distance of about 7 km. Fusen is a town in Bavaria, Germany, in the district of Ostelgau, situated 1 km from the Austrian border. Fusen is located on the banks of Lesch River, which flows into the Foggen Sea. The Foggen Sea is a man made lake which was built to prevent flooding. It is a catchment area for all the melting snow in the spring and is drained after the middle of the October. Fuzin is 808 meter that is 2651 feet above the sea level. I am at the Tigelberg Bahn station and it's a great view from here as you can see in the video. While lifting you can watch excellent view of the Neuschwanstein castle. Mount Tigelberg is located several kilometers from the Neuschwanstein Castle. From Tigelberg to reach to the Neuschwanstein Castle by bus, it just takes 8 minutes. Hey friends, you remember the video of Rodel Bahn which is located at the bottom of the Tigelberg Bahn? If you missed it, no worries, the link for the video is in the description box, do check now. So my cable car journey is started, look at this. The views from the cable car is stunning. The Tigelberg is a popular destination for the holiday makers and locals in the Algao. The mountain massif in the Amargao Alps offer numerous hiking trails and climbing routes as well as special views of two royal castles. I have summarized everything worth knowing about the Tigelberg and will answer the following questions among others. Where is the Tigelberg? How long does it take to hike up the Tigelberg? How much does the trip cost and how high is the Tigelberg? So let's start with the very first question, where is the Tigelberg? The Tigelberg is a part of Amargau Alps and is located in the Ostelgau district near Schwangau. But how high is the Tigelberg? The highest point of the Tigelberg is the Brandenstrofen with a height of 6171 feet above the sea level. The Panorama restaurant at the mountain station of the Tigelberg Bahn is at 5,675 feet. How long does it take to hike up to the Tigelberg and which paths are there? If you want to hike up to the Tigelberg, you have variety of options. There are official 3 hiking trails and a via Ferrata to the Tigelberg house. There are several variants. Garden Angel Path, its difficulty is medium, it takes about 2.5 hours. The path starts at the valley station and leads from there to a path with a good view of two castles. A stopover for relaxation can be made at Rorko Futhe, then it continues on a partly steep alpine path to the Tigelberg. You can also start this trail from the car parking till the Rorko Futhe and then it is the same path again. The second way is Ahern right way. Its difficulty is easy. The duration is about 2.5 hours to Blacknow or approx 4 hours to Tigelberg House. You start either at the valley station or at one of the car parks of the royal palaces. From there, it goes first to the well-known 
Marian Brooker and through the Pollard Gorge. Note that both the bridge and the gorge are often closed, so it is best to inform yourself beforehand. The view you can see in this video is from Panorama Restaurant. After reaching to the top of the Tickleberg, you can also see paragliders doing paragliding and taking off from the apex. You can also enjoy watching their sport. Visitors who are enthusiastic about flying can swing into the air here with the professional paragliders pilots. The next stop after 2.5 hours is the Blacknow Mountain. This route can also be shortened by taking a bus. From there, it goes gently in ascending curves to the place of reflection. The next path is the Marian Brookenweg. It's very difficult path. It's about 3 hours. As the name suggests, the start here is also at the Marian Brook. Then it goes in the direction of Blacknow but over a mountain saddle up to the mountain station. This offers a fantastic view of Neuschwanstein Castle. You don't necessarily have to hike to the Tiggleberg. The mountain can also be climbed with the Tiggleberg Barn, a cable car that is over 7,040 feet long. The so-called aerial tramway overcomes a height difference of 2,928 feet and has a cable car support. There are two cabins in total, each of which can accommodate 44 people. The price of a ride up to the Tiggle Park varies depending on the year and the season. It took 27.50 euros for me to ascend and descend. But can you see Northwestern Castle from Tiggle Park? Yes, from the top of the Tiggle Park and also on many hiking trails up to the summit, you have a very nice view of Northwestern Castle. The well-known fairy tale castle is located at the foot of the Tiggleberg, but Northwestern Castle is not the only castle that can be admired during a hike on the Tiggleberg. The nearby Hohenschwangau Castle can also be seen from many places. Some of the winter questions are: Can you ski on the Tiggleberg in the winter? Yes, even in winter, the Tiggleberg offers various options for leisure activities. Above all, of course, skiing. The main ski route from the Tiggleberg house down into the valley is 4.2 km long and according to the operator requires skiing skills. There are also several smaller lifts in the valley which makes the ski area interesting for the inexperienced skiers as well. But the Tiggleberg is also a popular destination for ski tourers. For example, there is a ski touring trail that explains the basic for the tourers. The cable car was built by the South Tylorian company Hall Seil Bahnbau. At the foot of the railway in 1966, during the work for the valley station, a rectangular partially heated antique house and just a little further east, a bath house from the 2nd century came out of the ground. The steel track shown in the video is of Rodelbahn. From the cable car, you can have a direct view of Rodelbahn which I did and I have previously made video on this. In summer, the Tiggleberg is wonderful for hiking, whether for easy mountain hikes, for family outings or for demanding mountain tours. This area is partially barrier-free for the people with walking disabilities and wheelchair users. The bus stop is about 40 meters away. There are four parking spaces for people with disabilities. Access to the valley and mountain station is steep place via a ramp. All the rooms and facilities that can be used by the guest are accessible without steps or via ramps. This is the heavenly view from the cable car while descending from the Tiggleberg top. After getting into the cable car, it takes 5 minutes from the cable car station to reach at the top of the Tiggleberg and it takes again 5 minutes to go down from the Tiggleberg to the cable car station at the bottom of the Tiggleberg. The cityscape while making up and coming down is so worthy as you can see in this video. This was the absolute best thing I did on my trip. Definitely going up the mountain and watching the paragliders was super fun. It was so enjoyable, so much worth the time and money. I hope you liked this video. I am also going to upload the video on Northwestern Castle. So don't forget to follow me and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is in my Instagram bio. See you in the next video. Ta-da!